All around us are computers, servers, databases, Jave bases, Amazon web services and things of this nature. And what is controlling it? Servers. Yes, we have it. And today we're going to talk about it and how do they work. We will we will discuss with you. And who am I? I am a Russian man who brings value to my own experience and I learn English vocabulary through the science and through the things of this nature, physics and also electromagnetism and also weak interaction and also strong interaction interactions and also gravitation and things of this nature we'll uh, we'll talk about it on my channel and uh, on our channel because it is communism time and we will talk about them and right now our topic about servers and how do they work let's go first of all i imagine and even don't imagine you have it uh, right now on your phone or maybe near you it is your phone yes and also you have the computer you have a storage inside of it inside of your phone you have some of the memory yes and inside of your computer computer you have a memory for example HDD SSD or maybe you have a flash USB yes you are connecting and you have data or maybe you have the specific disk that uh, kind of you can uh, use it e external like uh, not in inside of it external it will be so somewhere here not not somewhere yes look at this it is uh, my for example USB storage that I can use like put inside house of house of memory let's put inside of the computer and then it will be connected and also you have that, you know, that we have the memory all around us through the servers that are connected through the some of the telecommunication and also through the waves of sound and waves of electromagnetic things and also some they are going around, they are to the right, to the left and they are flowing around. We are like in a soup and of, of the waves, yes? And they are going through the internet, yes? These waves are kind of internet it is uh, the specific net that connects all the devices and all the devices they have the specific protocols that they are connected i imagine that you have a radio and you have the specific radio wave and they are kind of connected to the radio waves that we listen to the music okay nice music rap and something like this but i prefer rock okay let's go to the rock oh wow nice but maybe classic okay another frequency we will use it okay let's listen to the some of the classical music and the same with internet we have the specific addresses like IP and uh, we can connect to specific storage through these waves we can connect to the IP to this IP to this IP to this IP and uh, we have the number specific it is actually internet protocol that we can go to them and find some information. It is the specific storage. But where is the storage? It is a server. Yes, server. It is a block of memory, specific computer that like shows all the information to you, to them, to this, to this, to everybody in this world, specific services of like specific servers, huge machines with a whole amount of terabytes and even more like super million of uh, terabytes and also trillions and something like this information that inside of the servers and also you can buy your own server for your own purposes and etc and they are really like nice calculating information machines and inside of them we have specific IPs that are st saved stored and also we have domains domains actually it is specific type how we call the call our uh, our IP for for example, we have HTTP, we have domain, also we have .com, .net, .ru, .many, .ua, .another, and another, that's everything. Yes, we have. And we have the specific URI. A URL, yes, user. Um, I I don't uh, I don't remember unit. Maybe it is a unit of like uh, to reference uh, to something. Yes, we can go and uh, to ask some information. Hey guys, let's go to find link. Yes, it is our link. But behind it, we have the code of our IP. Yes, and we go to this specific IP by the name. For example, we are going to the person and we call it by the name. And uh, if uh, we don't know the person we can describe uh, this man is kind of he's 
he's doing he's doing some job he's living there he's doing this and he's he does also he's a nice bakery man and also he has a wife he has a, like <laughs> also children and this is the description of our ip con I, ip yes and on your IP, your own ip you can find it on your computer by writing ip config on cmd on the command line and uh, you can find it and Everywhere we have ser uh, we ca we have the devices and they are connected to servers, specific servers, so local servers, and something like this. And uh, through this information from the server, we can uh, we can connect with it. And server actually we have the main the main moderators of the server, and so they can say that to this website only people who are logging they can do specific functions, they can do specific things, and also they can uh, they can be allowed to have a super nice downloading memory and super nice uploading 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 files and downloading files files you can do fastly and it is actually access to servers and servers can be like servers that are that are interacting with clients right now it is new vocabulary client service uh, i mean server client server client interactions we have clients it is our devices and we have the server and they are interacting with uh, with all the people and uh, there could be different types of interactions it is like in real life we can say it to some to someone one word and he can receive it or maybe cannot receive it or maybe he can say something back to us and we can say it to him and it will be kind of fast interaction like a ping pong game and uh, if uh, it will be slow it should, it could be slow sometimes it could be really we could not communicate because we are in different houses and we cannot communicate to this city to this country we can cannot communicate because specific allowance to the server by the specific moderator he said that access is not for him not for them and not for this group of people but for this the group of people and also we can unlock it by the rules of accessibility and uh, servers they can they can send information they can receive information and by this uh, receiving information they can do specific actions and also the protocols of the servers we have we have also the specific specific uh, operational systems of the servers or also we have libraries of the servers also we have specific software that rules the servers apache and databases and uh, what's the difference be between database and server database it is specific data that we have and server actually it is database but with accessibility it is what what's the difference like database we can go always it is always accessibility but server it is already that only for this type of people and it is server was different and also servers they are kind of huge you have your own computer you have your own excel and you can open the table sheet and inside of this table sheet you will see the data actually it is library of something it is glossarium thesaurus or something and uh, if you will say that only for this type of people then it will be kind of server but with low type of memory and if you will use more memory then to be huge server and you can send information you can replace you can import insert and something like this select information and take it and sometimes upload and do some interactions through the buttons through the some of the like grids grids in a mini g r i d and also you can do some of the <laughs> interactions with all these technologies it is uh, how our servers work inside of it if you want to learn more about physics it is about electrons that are inside of it also about circuit circuit that you you have some ohms some of the resistors condensators also some transistors and also computer technologies like you have inside of your your computer some of the motherboard and you have also some things like disk thing and also video videography cpu gpu and uh, graphical unit also gra graphic processing unit and central processing unit and also you have some of the ventilation and it's all about engineering inside of it and how it works by the dynamics uh, electrodynamics inside of it and also by the resistance voltage and also the amperes that inside of it and uh, actually the circuit that we have and uh, Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's laws 
used there and also used some of the PN and NP things of transistors. It is need to learn more. I will learn more in English about it. In Russian I know a little bit how it's called, but in English I need to learn, so I will do this in the next videos. If you are interested in this topic, then let me know in the comment section below. Did you know it? Or maybe you have some additional information that it is kind of confirmed with <laughs> some of the maybe science researches that what I said. And also you can then if you have computer you have the language of communicating with computer through the voltage on the transistors voltage on transistors it is changing then by this changing of voltage you can interact with the computer by the light of your screens L lsd or led or maybe another types of screens also there we are before some of the tubes of that we are bombarding by electrons and all the things that we see it is specific like beamer and also it is going here and rotations of x and y and z there we are to the this electrons and specific image appeared also there we are kind of appearing with this type of things frequencies we are also frequencies of vertical things they were appearing on our screens and it was interesting actually and uh, also yes it is how our things work our screens displays uh, also we have rgb schemas on it uh, and it is interesting and and also what's more uh, and uh, now we we have the screens now and uh, it has a better frequency like 60 120 180 or maybe 240 display frequency that it is so fast and uh, updating and uh, we have all this materials actually it is electricity and it is a low level of programming that is appearing right now first it was engineering then it will be first level of uh, of our programming and uh, what is programming actually low level we use our keys our bins on our computer for example of our mouse on our wheel uh, like center point also bins on a b c d e q q w e r t Y and other buttons we can use them one two three four five and uh, etc we can bind to them that specific action will be with the computer when something opened then do the voltage to the computer specific things that could appear on our screen specific message and they could be a specific image by the binding on our on our mouse and when we will open specific program called program of uh, for example Python or maybe C++, Swift, Swift UI, Kotlin, also Pascal, Delphi, Ruby and others are SQL and others many things. If we will open them, we can use them as a high level high level programming software when we program actually what we do but low level language it is language of assembler that we can use to communicate through the specific zeros ones and also x o six le six l r f, f and etc like hexagonal and decimal things and also like binary things you can communicate through this but in high level programming languages you communicate through the like understandable to us let x will be equals 3 or let y equals f or maybe another things or you can say function or you can say variable it is variable or a function or integer or string or char or vchar or other things or richard of uh, lion king i mean that lion heart <laughs> and you can say that some variables will be this this way and actually it is how our things work and i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did let me know in the comment section below i can speak more about these topics and i want to speak more in the next time about incrementation decrementation also some of the polarity and also some interpolarity and things of this nature quad qu quaternions also some of the rotations of things of 3d objects uv uv mapping and other things i want to mention in the next videos and i think that will be interesting to know to you and the more we listen to the new vocabulary the more we we understand it and the better actually we become and to listen to the new words listen to the new sounds and understand new co concepts it makes us smarter makes us better makes us like living 
better in our life. So thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Happy Birthday.